गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल एम आई ऑडिबल Am I audible? Great. Good morning, friends. So we are starting our reading club with the prayer. Seeking blessings from our Guru, Dr. Prabhu Vijay Karsars, who have bridged this divine science with the modern science and made homeopathy easy like mathematics. Jai Anivan, Jai Homeopathy, Om Vijay Karai. Friends, we are in the journey of reading the wisdom of Dr. Samuel Hanuman from Organon of Medicine, Six Edition, as well as we are reading the genetic material medica by Dr. Prabhu Vijay Karsars. So, in continuation of this wisdom, up till now we have read about 184 aphorism. The aphorism is associated with the one-sided or local disease. So, in one-sided disease, when there is a paucity of the symptoms, then what to do? What Master Hanuman has said that when there is a paucity of the symptoms, and if you find a PQRS in that case, then your case will be solved. But if you don't find a PQRS in that case, and many a time it happens with the same things, 
then you have to go to the zigzag way and in zigzag way you have to select a remedy which is partial to that and then you prescribe the new symptoms has arise and new totality has made and then the medicine has to be prescribed so this is what dr Neman has given us idea then in this also then he said that the different variant of the one-sided disease so in aphorism number 185 what to do among the one-sided disease an important place is occupied by the so-called local maladies that means the local disease by which term is signifies those changes and ailments that appear on the external part of the body till now the idea prevalent in the school was that these parts were alone morbidly affected and that the rest of the body did not participate in the disease a theoretical absurd doctrine which has led to the most disastrous medical treatment so this is what the condemnations of the allopathic idea that it is the idea that the local disease is only a local part is affected, not the whole body is affected. So, in aphorism number 186, what Master Hanuman said that those two so called local maladies which have been produced a short time previously solely by the external reason still appear at first sight to deserve the name local disease. But then the lesion must be very trivial, and in that case, it would be of no great moment. For in the case of injury occurring to the body from without, if for in the case of the injuries occurring to the body from without, if they be at all severe, the whole living organism synthesizes and there occur fever, etc. So this is what something Master Hanuman has given idea that local disease is not actually the local disease. It is of the disease associated with the whole organism. So if you got an uh, injury from outside and to compensate that injurious mechanism, the body tried to make the fever to compensate that and to produce the blood uh, supply to the particular area, the particular area become heat and particular area become congested and swelling. So this is what something that you are upper. This is all because of the whole body is taking part to synthesize the particular local injury. So the treatment of such disease in the allopathic world, what they do, the treatment of such disease is relegated to the surgery. But this is right only in so far as the affected part required some mechanical aid, whereby the external obstacle to the cure, which can only be expected to take place by the agency of the vital force, may be removed by mechanical means. So in which cases you have to do the interventions of the surgery or interventions of the mechanical aid is needed. For example, by the reductions of the dislocation, if the person having a dislocation, then you have to reduce the dislocation by the needle and bandages to bring together the leaves of the wound. If the clear cut wound, then you have to bandage it by the needles and suture it by mechanical pressure to steal the flow of the blood from the open artery. So if there is a hemorrhage somewhere, local hemorrhage, so you have to apply some mechanical pressure or by extractions of the foreign body that have penetrated into the living part. So if the foreign body inside the body, you should have to remove it by the local means. By making an opening into cavity of the body in order to remove a irritating substance or to procure the evacuations of the effusions or the collections of the fluid by bringing into oppositions to the broken extremities of the fracture bone and retaining them in the exact contact by an appropriate bandage, etc. So this is what something that you have to keep in the mind when there is a mechanical aid is needed you should take it as the advantage but not otherwise but those affections alterations and the ailment appear on the external parts that do not arise from the external injury so that is what the part is if the injury happens and this happens then you have to aid by the mechanical means but if the disease do not arising from the external injuries or that have only some slight external wound for their immediate exciting cause are produced in a quite another manner, 
their source lies in some internal malady. So this is where sometimes if the person having developed some ulcer or the person having developed some wards, so that does not mean that it is an external affection. It is some there. So source of the development lies internally. So this is a dynamic arrangement. To consider them as merely local affection and at the same time to treat them only or almost only as it were surgically with the topical applications as the old school have done from the remotest ages is an absurd as it is pernicious in its result. So this is what very important understanding that this type of the local affection you should not apply uh, remove by the surgical means or applying by the topical application. So this is what Monsanhanema is telling that it is an absurd and pernicious thing. These affections were considered to be merely topical and were therefore called local disease. As if they were maladies exclusively limited to those part wherein the organism took little or no part or affections of this particular visible part of which the rest of the living organism, so to speak, knew nothing. So what uh, so-called allopathy doctor consider that one of the many great and pernicious blunder of the old school that they only tell that this is only the disease of the local part. It is not the specific of the whole body. And that is what they understood. So we conclude this. So in local disease, we have to understand local disease, local melody develop of a two origin. One is from the external injury and one is from the internal maladies. So if it is the external injury, in this case, you have to have some aid with a mechanical means. And if it is the internal, then you have to consider what Master Hanuman says that do not apply some topical uh, applications or the do not remove it by the surgical means. You have to find out some internal malady to treat them. So we continue this from further from tomorrow. Uh, we are continuing with the reading of genetic materia medica by Dr. Professor Vijay Karsar. So up till now in this book, we have read about what is the genetics and what is the genesis of the man. And then we started with the understanding of the materia medica with the groupism. So the first group we have learned in this is the Baraita group followed by the Kilkeria group and followed by the Kali group and its salts. So in Kali, continuation of the Kali group, there is one remedy left. So we continue today with this uh, uh, one of the remedy from the Kali group and that is the Causticum. We all know the Causticum is a different type of the Kali personality, but still we have to understand in the genetic level. So how the posticum patient is present to us in our clinic and how they represent. So starting with this posticum, the child of the posticum is the late led to walk sensitive, shrieking, restless, obstinate, and revolting. So these are the few basic dispositions of the posticum is the childhood of the posticum started with this. And we all know that all Kalis are the sensitive Kali having the easy battling tendency and they go into battle easily. So same way the Causticum child, the late to walk, sensitive, shrieking, restless, obstinate, and revolting type. We can think of Causticum in children who have weak legs, who falls easily and have not so stable gait. So, there is a rubric that is a gait, reeling, staggering, tottering, and wavering, fall, liability. So, this is what the child. So, many a time the parent comes to you with a complaint that whole day the children is uh, playing and at night the children is closing in the sleeps and having there is a pain and everything. You must think he might be a posture. So, children who are, who when they grow up and do not put on weight and are very restless, move and jump during the day and refuse to go to bed at the night. The mother spend valuable time at night putting the child to sleep. Even when put to sleep, the child will toss, turn and roll around all in the bed till he finds a comfortable position and then he falls asleep. The child sleeps, but throughout the night, his legs do not sleep. So this is what a restless sleep. Sleep restless, bodily restlessness from. 
they go on going involuntary, showing the deep-seated restlessness. So you can think of he might be a first become personality. The children who do not allow their children to touch their toys without permission. So these children do not allow other children to touch their toys. These children fight, quarrel and defy, but do not allow anyone to touch their toys if done against her wish. So this is what very important. So the Kali personality is a defiant type of Kali personality is a quarrelsome or a Kali personality is a fighter. So in that case, the Pastikam is like that. And they are defiant, they are fighting and quarrelsome and do not allow others to touch their toys. Children who do not allow themselves to be touched, they are very, very timid, bashful, and touchy, and startle easily. Yet, when injustice is done, stand up against it. So, this is what the very important sensitivity of the caustic is sensitive to injustice. They cannot allow injustice in, the, in front of them, and they just go and to fight it to it. So, this is what, even though there is a timid, bashful personality, touchy personality and subtle, but if injustice happens, they stand up against it. Children who make a lot of mistakes in writing and talking due to anticipation and apprehension, the children who are always pulled up for a wrong spelling, they do not have the ability to spell correctly. So most of the time when you think of the constitution, there is one rubric, there is a transposing while the talking. So it is the rubric is called as a spoonerism. So they always talk like that, uh, clue and poriza, uh, and they talk like a clue and poriza. So this is what something I learned in our college days, that is spoonerism. They have the mistake, they are transposing while talking. So they do not have ability to spell correctly. The representations of the sound in writing or in the syllables is a most difficult thing for them. In Indian language, a sentence like powder kadabba will be written as pronounced as powder ka badda. Dabba ka badla badda. So that is what something you have to understand. So mister will be written as mixer. It will be written as eight. Three will be written as there. God will be written as dog and teacher is written as teacher, teacher. So these children later on find it difficult to write paper in exam in spite of the good knowledge of the subject and the parents are surprised about why the child end up writing the wrong spelling of the word and he orally knows very well. These children later are also diagnosed as possibly a dyslexic child. So this is what you have to understand that Kastikam can be one of the best remedy for dyslexia. So the rubric associated with this is mistake makes, talking while, mispronouncing the word, misplacing the word, reverse the word, transposes the sound, wrong syllables, wrong words using. This is what mistake in talking and mistake writing, transposing the letter. So this is what the example that you have this. All the above type of the children, of course, has to be a chilly, hustless, right-sided mostly, and desire food that are that is dry and roasted rather than full of Indian curry. So they require a dry and roasted food, like a calcarea foss. Calcarea foss also require a dry and roasted food. So dry food can be confirmed from the questioning whether they like pizzas, tandoori items, rotis, bakris, and the crispy food more than any wet or soft food. So this is what you want to understand. So food and drink, meat desire, smoke, smoke food desire for. In Gujarati people, they use, uh, used to eat a kichdi and uh, kichdi at the bottom of that kichdi it is a uh, dry and a uh, smoke. So many a time we have to confirm that uh, do you like that a dry smoke food? And if the person is talking yes, then you have to think that we might be a pastikam or we might be a calcaria first. Or sometimes the tarantula does like also this type of food. Entry point for causticum in short. So uh, typically the Kali pictures are the sensitive, timid, startling, and the quarrelsome. They exist. The events produced are the lazy, loose, yet anarchist, revolting, and defiant against the wrongdoing. 
So most of time you all know that the Kali carb is indolent kind of personality. Kali bichromicum is more indolent kind of personality. So same even the causticum is lazy and indolent. Yet NRK is revolting and defined against the wrongdoing. So if anything happen in front of it is a wrong and injustice, then they become a revolter, they become defined and they rebel against that. And that is what NRK is. The causticum is one of the positive remedy and the ardent remedy. There is a sympathetic nature. So as we know that the causticum is sympathetic like the phosphorus, the same way the phosphorus and causticum shares the same similarity. And in every relationship, it was written that causticum and phosphorus are identical to each other. They loves cloudy weather, but hates clear, fine weather. So most of the time in a clear, fine weather, they are aggravated, but better in the cloudy weather. These are the physical indications of the caustic. The other symptoms that people who eat very fast. So causticum is a very fast remedy, fast eater. The people who complain of the heaviness of the eyes, like the gelsimum, again, the causticum is a remedy for the motor paralysis. So the paralysis happen on the eyelid and causes arthrosis. So this is what something that you complain of the heaviness of the eyes, like the gelsimum, you can think of the causticum. People who laugh or weep at all occasions, then you can think of the causticum. The people who laugh or weep when drunk, then also you can think of it as a causticum. The children weep or laugh before and after convulsions. This is the causticum. Thinking of the complaint aggravate their symptoms. The causticum people does not like music. Music they hate the music and most of time causticum is in a psychotic phase. Produce the warts multiple places. So people who have warts on the fingertips and around the nail. These are the causticum. Many a time you find people having a warts on the face and if the warts on the face and they cannot tolerate injustice, you can directly think of the causticum. The people who have a tendency to the large pedunculated cauliflower like warts or a bleeding warts, you can think of causticum. In bleeding warts, you have a nitric acid again. The people who suffer from the contractures or the shortening of the tendons, you can think of the causticum. People have a weak muscles. Why this weakness? The weakness of the Kali is discussed earlier because of there is an excess potassium ion having to be pumped inside to the cells by the sodium potassium pump, which uses a lot of energy or ATP and thus the excess utilization of ATP to the pump back the potassium ion depletes the energy or ATP causing weakness of the both nerves and the muscles. The ladies, the ladies who is fighting, fighting lady who were abused in the childhood and hence retain the anger and hurt even years later and try to fight for their girls, other girls who should not meet the same face as their feelings. So this is what uh, what we called, the, we have seen that the lady is a woman empowerment lady because of some incidents happen in their life, injustice cannot tolerate and they become revolutionary in this field and they are the saver for others because of their sympathetic nature, then you can think he or she might be a causticum lady. So fighting ladies who were abused in childhood and hence retained that anger and hurt and even years later try to fight for other girls who should not meet the same fate as theirs, then they are custodial. People who are a union leader and idealistic and fight for their ideals, they are the custodial. Now genetics, reflections of the custodial, mostly the Causticum is more of a psychosocletic remedy. So in psychosis, the psychosis accumulation, the psychosis excess produce glaucoma against the right-sided with the black spot in the vision and weakness of the vision. Accumulations in the scrotal sac result in the right-sided hydrocells. Psychosis proliferation gives rise to a multiple warts, especially on the fingertips and near the nails. The syphilis, the, it acts on the nose and it produces 
distractions or paralysis of the now. So now cell due to the excess stimulation gradually become weak until they stop transmitting the impulses. This result in the slowly appearing paralysis. So in costicum you find that the paralysis appears slowly. This paralysis is due to the gradual lessening of the ATP. The costicum paralysis is thus slow and not fast or instant as in Nux vomica. The plumbum paralysis is due to the motor neuron being attacked and hence there will be a whole group of muscles that suffer and may also be associated with the initiation. Posticum will show slow paralysis of single parts or part by part as energy in individual sets of muscles get depleted. So paralysis general gradually appearing, paralysis general single part organs affected or localized. Due to the same reason mentioned above, there is a weakness and the paralysis of the tendon, muscles and the sphincter. So the posticum tendency to fight against this weakness is by synthesizing the excess of elastic. The posticum wants no looseness. On the contrary, he wants to control and regain in the muscles, tendons and sphincter and therefore produce excess elastin which ultimately result in the shortening of the tendon the contracture of the tendon or the distortions of the joint. And then two with vengeance. This psychosis excess produce contracture of the tendon and distortion of the joint. In appearance, the costicum never seems to be a fighter. He appears calm, cool and mild with not much of the anger and aggression of the Kali. But internally, if any injustice happens, they will fight. There is one thing is if the sphincter is affected and there is a weakness, so it produces paralysis of the sphincters, uh, paralysis of the sphincter general. So many a time you find that there is involuntary urinations while the cuffing, the costicum is one of the reactions. He appears the complacence in the middle age after the soric restlessness and anxiety is masked and the presence of the psychosis begins. Acousticum become a lethargic person with no worries and no anxieties. He is quite contented with whatever he has until someone somewhere complain of suffering from the injustice. Being sympathetic, he takes up the cudgels for the downtrodden and the repress. Suddenly he loses this, uh, his looseness disappear and he is replaced by the greed and the determinations. He will also fight for the rights. So rights are rights and no one can play with them. They, the defined and the revolting attitude to fight against the wrong raises them from their inner slumber. They will study the topic, dissect it to details, find out the pros and cons and fight tooth and nail to get the justice. So this is what they are, what we call as a litigious kind of personality. They go to fight against the process. If there is an injustice happen, they revolt against it and they dissect. They study the topic in details and dissect it and find out the pros and cons. So there is the mildness initially, contented and sympathetic. And then this mildness, contented and sympathetic, if injustice happens, it goes into a defined kind of process. So different between the mercury and the constitum lies here. The mercury is an active mobile person who though basically timid in childhood has developed the revolting instinct secondary to the attack on him. He fights not for the rights like the constitum but rewards if himself is wrong. So this is what very different that constitum fights for the other whereas mercury fights for the self. So, Mercury, the moral of the action, criminal disposition to become without a remorse. He is not sympathetic. The Mercury is not sympathetic and he so he will not fight for the other. He has been at the receiving end and hence he decides to get back to teach others a lesson. He might go to the expense of committing crime and that too without any remorse. This is Mercury. He does not feel sorry for it. Whereas Costicum fight for the justice and once it is delivered, he keeps no grudges. So this is what, if justice is there, he keeps no grudges behind that. So most of the genuine union leaders are the Costicum.
if they are really fighting to get justice done for others but not at all can be costing on since many union has leader who have personal revenge to settle or want their image to be raised to get political mileage and win the election the costicum will never accumulate wealth uh, their wealth is the books so this is very important the costicum will never accumulate wealth their wealth is the book they have a huge collections of the book from which they essentially acquire the knowledge to fight a legal battle most of them remain poor throughout their lives with their wives complaining you have spent all your life for others now what about our futures who will look after us who have no money for the futures the costicum generally has the history of changing many jobs he is never static on one job like baraita or kelkaria neither does he change jobs out of the money considerations as in nakshomika varatram and asnikal nor does he change job like a chloric acid out of mere capriciousness and searching for something new and fresh here the costicum changes job because of its nature of not tolerating anything wrong in all offices there are certain things going on that they are not very justifiable this man always has argument with his boss he can be censorious and critical with his boss and no way his job if things do not occur as per his right way of thinking there is no anxiety whether family will have sufficient money or not his priority is justice otherwise he is cool calm and contented man so this is what censorious critical is the reaction of the cool calm contented man if there is injustice they become censorious and critical so this is what the resume of the costicum so costicum looks like this the triad of the costicum kali a right sided chilly thirstless yet relieved by drinking cold is the center of that costicum the reactions become a rebellious defined anarchies and disposition to contradict and they are very very ardent positive and sympathetic by nature and the modality that affect that is a very complicated in the cloudy weather and aggravated in the clear fine weather created by drinking and relieved by eating so if you have this kind of the symptoms you can think of the are the caustic so the in short how the kali represent to all of us the kali composed of the few chili remedy few hot remedy and one of the remedy is costicum so this is what you have to observe so chili remedies are the kali gap kali ars kali pos and kali mur kali mur can be chili can be hot also and the hot remedy kali salt kali iod kali brom and kali vitamin costicum is a chili remedy so whenever you think of the kali personality there must be a four categories that you have to remember that the angry over sensitive personality with the timidity and the right sided affection and there is a startling tendency you can think of this is a kali group along with this if the patient is very very impatient irritable quarrelsome and ill you can think it is the kali cap if the persons are more concerned about their anxiety about health and they are indifferent to the family and sad when ill this is what kali ars is if you find that is a timid angry over sensitive personality with the startling tendency and having a mental exertion aggravation or a brain fag and worn out businessman you can think of kali pos if you have a timid angry or sensitive with a startling tendency and they goes into a state of indifference to everything when ill you can think of the kali mood so kali mood and kali are both goes into a sad indifference when they got ill if you find the pulsatile like personality with inconstancy and having a timid angry over sensitive and startling tendency you can think of the kali self
as you know that it is a timid angry over sensitive with startling tendency and there is a syphilitic aspect goes into it towards the family there is a harshness hatred and cruel rough behavior toward the family and the children and the malicious type of personality which goes into syphilitic trait these are the kali ayo when you find that there is a timid angry over sensitive and startling personality with uh, inconstancy the uh, or psychological component related to it and there is a sexual complaint you must think of it is the kali groom so kali groom groom goes into a state of the guilt with the sexual complaint and this type of personality when you find you can describe kali groom as we know that all kalis are initially excited and fast but the indolent kali a torpor kali with the fatty people and there is a sticky sting with discharge you can think of it is a kali by promethon and there is a short neck and when you think that angry timid over sensitive startling personality goes into rebel and fight for the others and the sympathetic towards the others they are very very positive and their sensitivities cannot tolerate injustice you can think it is a fast become so this is what a short chart of the kali to understand this position in detail with the short understanding once the kali trait is recognized in the patient the above chart can be used to differentiate between the kali cap kali arts kali cross kali mute Posticum, Kali self, Kali ad, Kali brown, Kali person are the basis of thermal first and basic mental disposition. Now we have to compare the Kali with other personality. So we all know there is a Kali is one of the Paralsan remedy, and we have to differentiate from the other Paralsan remedy. So Paralsanness of the Kali vis a vis other prominent Paralsan remedy. so almost kalis are the quarrelsome as mentioned earlier they have a strange combinations of being discontented over sensitive highly reactive sometimes over reactive and aggressive and therefore what result is a quarrelsome so if you find there is a quarrelsomeness it is because of the over sensitiveness it is because of the highly reactiveness it is because of discontented and it is because of aggressiveness so this become a very important entry point when we came across the people who argue a lot trying to trying aggressively to put across their point of view we should start thinking in terms of the kali kali ar kali ka kali bai kali sai or kali pos kali mud sikam or are the quarrels sir always says that nothing in this world occur without the cause and everything has its own identity therefore there is a reason there has to be a reason and that too is a different reason for every kali to react every quarrel has cause every cause has its origin in the basic nature of the constitution and, and every quarrel has its intensity against depending upon the reactive tendency of the personal constitutions and finally everything is ruled by the miasma the quarrelsome occur because there is a discontentment the discontentment occur because every person having his own need the need includes the idea his own priority his own principles his expectations regarding his desires and aversions his expectations of the behavior by others etc all of which are to be fulfilled in a proper proportions for happiness to ensure if these things are not met discontentment and so but only a few constitution will be able to show that discontentment by fighting to achieve what they desire when they fight they appear quarrelsome so quarrelsome also comes from the intolerance intolerance of the dirtiness intolerance of the systematicness intolerance of being disturbed intolerance of being contradicted intolerance of being overshadowed or intolerance of losing money position justice tranquility etc so the quarrelsome comes out of this all phenomena now let us see how and why different quarrel kali quarrel so kali kav this chilly timid in 
patients kali quarrel more at home or with unknown people they will never argue or attack a stranger or an outsider in an unknown environment they cannot revolt or rebel the impatience and irritations makes the kali ka quarrel they want to do one thing and end up doing every, something else there are two wheels as if pulling them on either side the first quarrel of the kali ka start <coughs> which in himself well i don't know whether i should be doing this or not this antagonistic mind is the base of its quarrel sameness so this is what very important understanding that kali ka can go into a state of antagonism sometimes it's appear like a capriciousness i want to do a certain things but i also don't want to do the same things are the contrary thoughts that comes to their mind they want company but when their friends comes over they think they would have been better off without them and the irritation makes them quarrel with them so there is one rubric that company desire yet treat them outrageously on the other hand they don't want to lose their friendship similarly they go, they go and fight with the physicians if they are not getting any better after a prolonged treatment so this is what a clinical experience is very important their impatience and the impetuous uh, makes nature makes them attack the physicians why can't you give me some good medicine so that i get cured faster why others whom i have referred to you got better and i am still the same you better cure me or else but will never leave the physician so this is what they always quarreling with you but they never leave you on the contrary they will warn you warn them i am not going to leave you you have to cure me so this is what very important they are timid and have no daring to try a new doctor they are ever to change the quarrelsomeness is associated with the digestive problem that they call hyperacidity whenever my acidity increases i get mentally irritated and can not tolerate any nonsense from any of my family member if anyone does anything against my wish i end up arguing with them so this is what argument they did another uh, quarrelsome remedy is kali ars kali ars is again a chilly kali that becomes very sad and melancholy quite an indifference when ill so health is everything to them during any illness they become morose and sad for them any illness is a dangerous illness they go into a state of despair they think of the worst they think about their disease constantly which makes them sullen gloomy silent and sour temper at home or their office they become indifferent they start neglecting their work and end up in arguments and quarrel due to their sour temper their whole world revolves around the disease or the illness their questions are not demanding as to why you are not curing me fast like kali ka that betrays impatience they ask what is this illness is this illness curable have you ever treated such an illness before will i be completely normal again so these are the few inquisitive questions of the kali ask kali fos again kali fos is a chilly kali whose psychosomatic defense makes the mind exhausted and dull their mind after having undergone prolonged stress become tired and we know how a tired and exhausted man will break when they told to carry a load again from one place to another exactly the same situation exists in the kali force mind it is not ready to work not ready to answer it gets irritated when spoken to and end up in arguments so this is what kali force kali iod so kali iod is very aggressive rude autocratic strong and shouting people this quarrel some alternate with the jesting they have absolutely no inhibition when they shout or fight postigam postigam quarrel some is only against injustice to achieve the justice again tarantula are also quarrelsome because they are extremely hurried examples are when going out for a movie or opera husband who are so hasty that they get ready very fast and want their wives also to be as fast another tarantula man would want his pullions and the clerk to follow his order immediately 
even for the shortest delay he would get very angry and due to this hasty nature he was called the man of yesterday by his employer so this is what the tarantula is because quarrelsome because of the hurried nature next swamika quarrel because he does not want anyone to obstruct his progress so whenever his progress is obstructed he become quarrels because he is very very sensitive is and he is a, an achiever so achieving of utmost important to him he does not like to be disturbed he gets angry when anyone who asks him a question twice a wife asks her swamika husband what he will have for a dinner if he answer her and she happened to question him again she had had has had it he will retort saying i have answered you before Nak nakswamika can also not tolerate noise in any form for example children playing and making noise is not tolerated by the nakswamika a lady who came to the clinic said doctor for the slightest cause i blow up uh then later i wonder why i did that i feel extremely bad thinking back i realized that the anger was not at all a warranted in the new situation my husband and children were have stay, started staying away from me they say that they never know when i can lose my temper this lady when she, she blew up would start quarreling on top of her voice he was given asafoidida the confirmation for asafoidida is loud eruption so this is what the uh, lady who goes on quarreling with the hysterical symptoms like a loud eruption you can think of the asafoidida another hysterical remedy is moscus so moscus is also a quarrelsome and you all know uh, quarrel until the lips become blue are the indications of the moscus so moscus has the similar quarrel sometimes both isafeda and moscus are the hysterical but moscus is over sensitive to all external impression moscus react to fight also a draft of wind will cause trembling therefore moscus over react to all external impressions whereas isafeda it is only anger and destructive rage and fury lycopodium so lycopodium is also a quarrel sum is when his authority is challenged so when the power is challenged authority is challenged the lycopodium goes into quarrel so lycopodium wants power so any contradictions is intolerant to the lycopodium so this is what lycopodium becomes quarrel orum is also quarrel so when the people don't follow his rules and regulations and when people don't do their duties he wants everyone to be a dutiful and wants everyone to be like him one patient who came to us was crippled and very old and weak he wanted his son to respect him take care of him and fulfill his duty he told us and if you don't want to take care of me throw me out of the gallery i am ready to die there is more of the duty and not emotions in the aura so this is what aura is like this it is very difficult to quarrel with the hercules since their mind is two parts they are so argumentative and the argument change from one topic to another putting the opposite person completely in the in the defensive mode so this is very important that the case is quarrel sina is also quarrelsome sina is quarrelsome is continuous nagging and the morning of which the people get tired he continuously point out people's mistakes until people feel his voice boring into their ears it is not an explosive anger but the discontentment in them irritated others and their tone is always complaining so sina is always complaining even phosphorus can quarrel the quarrelsomeness of phosphorus comes out in the syphilitic state and the phosphorus become indifferent from not getting love from the quarters he expect from they feel that the people have not understood them and not given them love and affection therefore they go into misanthropy ever than to men back generally a very handsome man or a beautiful woman who is loved by the whole world but does not receive the same love from the spouse goes into indifference mercury so mercury can go into quarrelsomeness arises from the timidity very timid in childhood and have borne a lot of torture and trouble from the people they try to fight it out whether right or wrong by rebelling or revolting 
so old people old quarrelsel people who are lean emaciated with the long neck and a lot of wrinkles on the face think of conaim conaim is timid yet quarrelsome like the carbons and the kalis but there is no slowness of the carbon nor there any jerkiness or startling of the kalis <clears throat> Old people fighting in the train because they know that due to their age they are bound to get support from others are likely to be a conai. They like cozy and dark room and like staying away from the lights. Their bed will be in the dark corner of the room where they don't want anyone to disturb them. These are the conai people. The crocus, the crocus smiles and smarrel quarrel. Their moods changing suddenly, suddenly smiling and suddenly quarreling. So when while quarreling, they become cheerful. They do not hold grudges against the people. They don't know whether they are quarreling with you or praising you. Sensation of something alive in the body. This is very peculiar to the poor crocus sativa. Love for dancing and black menses come from the crocus. Again, one of the indications of the crocus is rage fury alternating with the affectionate. This is what a crocus personality is. And there is one uh, thing you can remember that the crocus persons love to sing a song. And if you hear some song, some ver versions of the song and you started singing, <laughs> you can think of the crocus. Hyosimus, Hyosimus induced quarrel by inciting people because he likes to play antics and he wants attention. Veritrum Alb quarrel to show off his positions and the situations become worse. He can slander and go to an extent. Of course, Veritrum Alb will have desire for lemonades and love for the luxury status and the branded things. Arsenic become quarrelsome, arising from expecting everything to be a very, very meticulous, prime and proper, and they are extremely sensorious and critical. Whereas the cantharis, the riotous, is the word that describes the cantharis quarrelsome, a lady with a chronic renal failure who was so quarrelsome that she had some dispute with her sister-in-law who stay on the second floor of the particular building near the market. This lady would go there stand below near the market and start shouting and abusing the sister-in-law at the top of her voice. Even as big as crowd would collect around her to see that what was happening. Her voice was so loud that it would reach the second floor and the opposite party concerns would shut their doors and windows. Otherwise, she was very, very sane person. She responded miraculously to the cantharis with the creating creating and coming down and stabilizing. Another example, the young boy of 20 years who was admitted in the hospital for the leukemia, who was not responding to the all allopathic medicines, was prescribed cantharis because if the doctor advised anything which was against his wish, he would jump out of the bed and hold the doctor by the collar. And this used to be the case even when working in his own shop. The slightest contradictions from the customer would lead into big riotous fighting, which would end into him beating the customer. So this is what a riotous quarrelsome is the cantharis. Both the people had gone in this stage after UTI was suppressed with the antibiotics. So this is what this quarrelsome comes out of suppressed UTI. Carbo wage and petroleum both are the carbons. Carbons has the quarrelsomeness has been given in the respective groups. So in a later study of the carbon, we will study this. All the above remedy are not to be prescribed without considering the generals like thermals and pulse. So this is what the basic idea about how the quarrelsome remedy comes into picture. So thank you so much. We conclude the day today here. And we will continue it as I am traveling to the Hokkoro Place Camp to Mumbai tomorrow. So our class will be on the Friday, not tomorrow. We will continue from the Friday with the carbons, the last group of this book. Any questions if you have, you can share in the group the chat.
one sided disease and their potential selections okay recently i have presented uh, an approach to the different diseases in the rajkot college so we'll share we'll make one day for the approach to all disease so that all can learn from the symptom uh, uh learning from the cases we'll take okay so thank you so much we conclude the day today thank you all milk scanty after delivery what should be the probe so see since milk is for what nurturing so uh, she uh, she don't want to nurture the child so simple thing indifference to loved one that is what a simple understanding what i understood from the basics because milk gives a love to the child bonding to the child so ask about is there any responsibility makes you a sad or indifference about this thing so if the person is having indifference to loved one they may go into this state of a milk scanty or sometimes she might having the oligohydromnios also in a pregnancy so you can think that within uh, 6 7 months of the pregnant lady they develop this state and finally after the birth has been started she develop a less or scanty milk so this is what you have to ask for so you have to probe the psychosis cut it the psychosis and then understand that why the indifference started it because every mother says i am very concerned about my child okay but if it is concern about the child then milk has to flow naturally if it is not naturally then something is there behind the back of mind and that is what unconscious process so you have to ask for that so mostly it is something which we called as indifferent to loved one that is what is not producing the milk for the babies so thank you so much thank you all we conclude the day today we'll continue from the friday tomorrow there is uh, no lecture as tomorrow there is a hope for a place camp at mumbai so i am going to attend that and friday we will continue our journey of reading Thank you thank you so much